morning, Daniel Spatz from Miami. Uh, back to the English uh, videos. Uh, we're gonna uh, do today a wonderful session for coaches, players, everybody wanting to play tennis, loving the game. Uh, solving the 10 most common problems that we coaches and people are facing when we are playing tennis or teaching. Okay, so I'm gonna come up with the problem and of course the solution with drills, with real students, and of course some uh, comments, theory eh, at the end. We're going to make two parts. Part one with the students, part two just me telling you about, you know, things like playing with the score, uh, how to find the opponent's weaknesses, and so on. Enjoy, enjoy this session. The uh, Indian Wells tournament is uh, underway in Palm Springs. Great tournament so far. And the Sonny Erickson in Miami coming up in, t in 10 more days. We are so excited waiting for that beautiful event. Uh, uh, have a nice week. Enjoy this video. You're going to learn a lot. We are here with the actors, the players, the stars. Today uh, I want to introduce to everybody Don and Rhonda. Thank you so much guys for helping me out. Thank you. Uh, relax. Be yourself. Eh? This is what I learned when I'm making the videos. So uh, Sunday morning they are my loyal Sunday morning students. They always come very early in the morning and, uh, and, uh, and I really love it. I don't take it for granted. Uh, quick question, guys. Uh, share with the, our friends, colleagues, why you guys play tennis? Because this is, sometimes we, we don't ask that question, you know, to uh, our students. So, uh, let's, ladies first. Uh, Rhonda? Okay. Well, I think uh, because I have a very strong passion for tennis and I want to be able to play tennis years from now when I'm 105. Great reason. Yeah. I think it's just a lot of fun. It's highly competitive and, uh, and you can play all your life. Awesome. Fantastic. Let's, let's move on, uh, roll the ball, and start finding the solutions for very you know, common problems that we face day in, day out on the tennis court. I hope this video is going to help a lot. Enjoy. Problem number one, distance with the ball, spacing with the ball. See, I see so many eh, eh, club players, amateur players, junior players struggling with distance. They don't understand the distance. Eh, hitting the ball off the front foot, out in front, by their side, at their side, not too close. So this is the best drill to fix it. Okay, Don, I'm going to have Don starting. Eh? So you're going to run around, you know the position, you're going to run around and you're going to hit. And so run around. This is a great way to teach distance because you're forcing the students to create their own spacing. Perfect, perfect. Eh, one more time, run around. There you go, great. Okay. Run around, get in position, always get in position. Okay, don't try to do too much with the ball. Just get in position. Beautiful. Recover, done. Get in position quickly. There this is a wonderful there. way to teach distance once again by making the student run around. They create, they have to create their own spacing and they, they feel that. They have to move their feet. It's a good way. Not the only way, but very effective way to fix this problem. Number two, we're gonna work about um, high balls and short balls mid-court. How often we hear coaches, students, I hate the high ball in my backhand and I don't know what to do when I get a short ball. So I rushed and panicking, whatever. So I overheat it. So let's practice this. This is a very simple drill to fix that problem and to make your student feel more comfortable with those two different balls. Let's go back, recover, short ball, move forward. There you go, recover. Now you're gonna go back all the way back again. Get in position, high ball, go back, play another high ball, recover, short ball, move forward. There you go, recover. And be careful, watch your step. You're gonna go back, turn sideways. Try again, try again. No, no, try again the high one. Go back, recover, and then forward, and attack the ball. Perfect. There you go. Come on. High ball. Go back. Perfect. Move forward. Recover. Back. Watch your balance when you go back. Back. There you go. Oh! Do it again. Try again. Try again. Let it drop. Perfect. And then forward. Be aggressive. Boom. And go back. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Back. No, 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 back in, back in, back in, back in. Show me your back in. There you go. And forward. Move to the ball. Perfect. Great job. 
Okay, so once again, we, we saw, we heard about this drill, the famous Spanish X, you know, but I want to put emphasis more in the high ball into the backhand. Eh? So, and of course the short ball, and of course you can add the approach and the volley, but this is a day in day out drill in the daily basis, eh? working in the high ball and the follow it, following the short ball immediately, high and then the short one. Okay, they will love it, they will feel much more confident and they will not complain anymore about, I hate the high ball. The next one I took my hat off is about technique, simple. Uh, I found, and I said that before in, in my previous videos, uh, people get things more complicated than they should. So I want to keep it simple, simple, short, eh? back swing, eh? point of contact in front, a nice, simple follow through. Okay, uh, uh, let's do it with Don. And, 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 and once again, keep it simple, coaches. Go back to the basics, eh? because people get confused, crazy, they overthinking. Eh? Remember, they're overanalyzing if you teach too much technical issues. Eh? So let's do it with Don. We're going to follow the Don. You're going to show uh, the, the technique. You're going to drop the ball nice and easy. Don't try to hit it too hard. Take back, follow through. Perfect. Take back, point of contact, follow through. Take back, point of contact, follow through. Do it from behind. So I want you to work down to catch the racket if possible with the left hand to promote racket control. Simplicity. Easy does it. Perfect. Perfect. Eh? Excellent. Well done. The simpler, the better. The next problem is our players, our students doing too much at the net. I remember Pete Sampras, the great Pete, saying once, I read it many years ago in a, in, in a magazine, uh, four things that we have to follow when putting easy balls away. Number one, Pete said it, don't rush, eh? don't overplay that ball, yes, watch the ball, and of course be aggressive, remember, be aggressive, watch the ball, don't rush, don't overplay the ball, eh? do's and don'ts from Pete, the great Pete, and he knew what he was talking about, okay? He was one of the best at the net. So we have to listen to him. Eh? He's a genius at the net. So we're gonna do the next demonstration with Ron and Don, the net, Ronda and, and Don now, putting them together. Eh? Uh, I wanna thank you guys one more time, and uh, let's uh, roll the ball. So this Enjoy. is a drill, simple drill, having both players attacking easy balls. Easy overhead, easy overhead, there you go. Easy volley. There you go, go for it. Be aggressive, but don't overplay it. Be aggressive, but don't overplay it. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Go, Ronda, go, go. Perfect. Done, overhead. Beautiful. I, I'm gonna save the cameraman. There you go. <laughs> Are you kidding? Once again, I love it, but be a little bit more aggressive okay. without overplaying the ball. Be more aggressive, Ronda, go, go, go. Yes. Be more aggressive, go, 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 go. High ball, go for it. Yes. The problem is returning serves. Uh, I found, I've seen people playing um, and they are trying to do too much with the ball. They're trying also to hit too hard. Eh? They put too much pressure on themselves when they're about to return. Uh, so uh, the, the drill, you know, is very simple. I want to, as I, as I did in, in the grand strokes with Don, I'm going to do with Ronda now. I'm going to serve and I want Ronda to get 10 out of 10. And we're going to measure Ronda's success, counting the returns that she's making. Eh, in. So, and by doing this, she's going to see her own progress. Eh, if she's getting better, I hope not worse. Okay. okay, have you seen? Of course, this is a simple drill, but do it in this way with targets, specific targets, and uh, counting the amount of balls to measure the success of the drill. And actually, to make it more fun and motivated for, for the players, for the students. And then, of course, you go and you do it on the outside. Eh? Variations, you serve only to the forehand, you serve only to the backhand, you serve to the body, 
you serve one and one, come on, you make it, you, you make your own drills. I'm giving you ideas about to fix this very common disease, overplaying the return of serves. Uh, so just making them effective, efficient in okay. their return. Okay, start the sequence. Let's go cross curve. One for one. Let's get it back in play. Get the point started. Two for two. Three for three. Beautiful. Four for a four. And five for a okay. five. Four to complete the drill. Six out of six. Seven out of seven. You made it. Eight out of eight. Nine out of nine. Ten out of ten. We made it. Let's go for the conclusions, the wrap up of the part number one. We, we saw the students eh, having a lot of fun, eh, and, and we love it. Great dynamics. Remember, eh, working in distance, eh, that feeding ball drill, hand fed, is very effective. Then high balls, short balls. Easy balls put away following Pete Sampras' philosophy. Returning serves is very important. And of course, keeping a simple technique with, without saying too much, coaches, because I see young coaches, uh, and actually veteran coaches too, uh, okay, tennis, you know, you gotta turn your shoulders 90 degrees, 120 the hips, and uh, it's too much. I mean, keep it simple, I'm old school guy. Uh, of course, biomechanics, everything is important, don't get me wrong, but you want to keep it simple. You know, sideways, racket back, you know, clean point of contact, nice follow through. You saw Don, Don is 70 years old. I think he's amazing. I wish I could be 70 and be like his. I wish. So he's great. Rhonda, fantastic. She didn't miss a ball in the return of surgery. Amazing, amazing. So uh, I hope this uh, video will help. And we'll give you actually ideas for your lessons. And you can create your own drills based on this. I'm not saying preaching, this is what you have to do. Just go ahead, create your own drills. And these ones are working very well for me. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for part number two.